What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. Good morning to some out there. It is the Earth Master here on this Thursday, January 19th, 2023. It is about 1022 a.m. here along the West Coast, and the latest activity on the globe shows a 1.2 earthquake into the area of California. Now, we have been seeing a little bit of activity ramp up here uh, over the last couple hours, specifically into California. Uh, as we zoom in here just off the San Andreas Fault here south of Gil uh, Gilroy and the Watsonville area. Seen a, well, 3.5. Originally, this came in as a 3.8 in the area of San Juan Batista. 3.8 kilometers deep for that 3.5. I believe this was felt uh, by a few folks out there in the in the region of Hollister, Salinas, Seaside area. All reported a little bit of uh, light to moderate shaking around that region following that uh, fairly shallow uh, 3.5. Now, there was a, a little bit of activity prior and continuing after this earthquake, including the 1.3. So things kind of kicking up here specifically along this segment of the San Andreas Fault. And that is known as the, um, it looks like just goes down into the creeping segment here uh, along the western side of the Diablo Range. So a little bit of activity uh, kicking up there currently. Uh, also down here in Ridgecrest, things uh, kicking up as well. Looks like they had a 3.4 early this morning, uh, followed up by a few other smaller quakes out here north of Ridgecrest. Been awfully quiet here recently. Looks like things starting to fill in slightly uh, there in the California region. Further down south here, San Jacinto Fault Zone showing some activity uh, and still getting a little cluster of quakes outside of the Borrego Springs area. <clears throat> you have to excuse my demeanor today. Uh, I think I'm getting a fever. I, I know Missy Mimi's here was sick. She's still sick, um, but she caught a pretty bad cold. And of course, living in the same household, <laughs> it's bound to happen, right? So I'm, I started feeling it last night and uh, getting some hot flashes. And actually, last night I was cold, and I don't get cold. But uh, now this morning I'm hot. Um, and it's not all that hot in here, so I don't know what's going on all over the place today. Hopefully I can get this under control. A couple twos out here across the area of Idaho and also into the Yellowstone region. Now the uh, Yellowstone area, not seeing any uh, major swarming kicking up. Just those couple small microquakes, uh, mostly overnight time period. Things look relatively calm now, uh, currently across the seismographs. Uh, let's see here, Oklahoma, got some more activity here around the Fairmont area just outside of Enid into the um, well what's out here let me see what we got Go over here to the satellite view and uh, specifically around this 3.0 looks like uh, obviously it looks like those some houses out there uh, but again it's hard to tell with this type of uh, uh, land out there I know there is some oil fields out here southeast salt fork oil field uh, oil fields galore in this area of Oklahoma, uh, eastern portion of the country. One earthquake here up into the Appalachian Mountains with a 2.2. That one coming in late last night at uh, zero kilometers deep. A little earthquake there yesterday as well into the Centerville, South Carolina region. Looks like way up north here. I almost missed this one here in Maine, a 1.9 coming in. They have seen a little bit of activity um, in this area. Uh, I'm trying to think if they had some more in this last week. Yeah, they did. Last seven days of activity outside of the Bangor, Maine area. Seen a little bit of swarming up here. A couple twos and even a three in that mix of, earth, of uh, earthquake activity. So somewhat elevated out here along the east coast currently. Uh, in the Big Island, Hawaii, most of the activity there confined to the Pahala area. And typical movement around the active volcano there, Kilauea up into the Alaska um, yeah Alaska region yeah I'm off, I can feel it I'm off today whoo not good I uh, took some ibuprofen but uh, I don't know if that's gonna help uh, 4.8 coming in little cluster of earthquakes here just into the subduction zone uh, looks like uh, about 35 20, well 25 36 kilometers deep in this area uh, showing a little bit of seismic increase for sure for certain there uh, also up into the lime village alaska area 2.1 coming in uh, just off the uh, denali fault zone that extends over here to the west 
And let's see what we got here for the Western Pacific. Now, this I can already tell this one's going to be a deep earthquake here. 4.4 off the coast of Russia, but this is 499 kilometers deep into the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. Still seeing some deeper activity here uh, into the subduction zone levels with only minimal adjustment upstream here where we see the bigger uh, and larger earthquakes. Uh, it just haven't happened yet, uh, but I know it's building each and every day. Uh, similar to like the Cascadia along the Pacific Northwest, but uh, this area has a much higher slip rate uh, than the Cascadia, so we should have seen something by now in this area, but uh, it's just, it just hasn't happened. 4.4 off the coast of Japan, about 37 kilometers deep, and one earthquake here coming in yesterday as well uh, near the uh, Kumano Ridge. Izu Trench, uh, at least a portion of it here, showing some shallow earthquake activity after a couple days of some deeper movement. Nothing big yet, but a 4.6 near the Volcano Islands, Japan region. And down here in Guam, 5.0 coming in uh, this morning about 5 o'clock. 120 kilometers deep into the trench there, Mariana Trench. Still seeing a pretty good cluster of earthquake movement here across the Philippines and uh, areas around Papua New Guinea. Uh, a look at the EMSC model globe here. Continues to show that activity, uh, including that 3.9, the most recent in this area. Uh, just with that continued cluster of earthquake activity. Um, into the Tonga region and New Zealand, things look very active here on the globe. Let's see what's showing up here. Not, not a whole lot here in the USGS map. Uh, let's see here. Stand by for a second. A little bit of activity, it looks like, into the Tonga Trench uh, with a 4.5, 553 kilometers deep. Now, these other two earthquakes from yesterday... So uh, I think we're going to have to go over here and check out the GeoNet servers. We'll get back to a uh, little space weather here in just a little bit. Oh, man. Uh, 3.4, North Island, New Zealand area. A couple twos. Let's see what we got here. 2.7, 3.3. A couple threes out here. Some twos. There's another three. Not seeing anything major kicking off here. Uh, there's a four-pointer off the coast. That's kind of an odd earthquake. Back building out here. Uh, 240 kilometers southeast of Castle Point area. Now, it looks like that's going to be this earthquake right here in the blue flag. It's kind of an odd earthquake here. It's away from the plate boundary. Um... That's relatively shallow. There's a deep earthquake movement in there as well. Uh, again, New Zealand is one of those zones that uh, really hasn't uh, caught up yet in terms of seismic activity. And I'm talking back over the past couple months or so when we've seen sixes and sevens up here around the Tonga Trench area, all throughout the Vanuatu area, Papua New Guinea. Um, so we know there's got to be some buildup um, kicking up down here into the New Zealand area, just a matter of time, I think. Uh, I know the Kermadec Trench did see, uh, I think they had an eight-pointer back in, um, not last year, but the year before now, 2021, right? If I remember right, that was the year of eight-pointers. <laughs> had one here, had one down into the South Sandwich Trench, had one up in Alaska. Uh, That's pretty crazy. But uh, definitely seen a little bit of uptick across the New Zealand area currently today. So we'll watch that for some potential movement, uh, further movement, that is. Uh, southeast of Easter Island, a 4.8 coming in out here along the Chile Rise. Actually just to the west here along this little uh, fracture zone. Uh, South America, seen some activity yesterday, but it looks like for the most part today's movement uh, is calm. Not a whole lot going on there. With some older earthquakes. Uh, into the Caribbean area and the Cocos Plate. I got a little bit of activity up here. Kicking off here into the Cocos Ridge, it looks like, uh, near the Carnegie Ridge. Now, it's not showing up on the USGS map, but there's a couple earthquakes there, including a 4.7 uh, into that area and some threes further up, uh, adding to some uh, obvious pressure out here in the region. Puerto Rico seen about the same as what we did yesterday here so uh, but either way definitely uh, you know a couple spots here seen some noticeable increasing activity today uh, New Zealand for one even though it's generally light earthquakes uh, that's definitely seen an uptick movement into the Kuril Kamchatka Trench as well and uh, I would say California 
it takes the chart here for the uh, most noticeable uptick today and uh, some of it is on the San Andreas Vault again the creeping segment uh, it looks like at the northern end of the creeping segment uh, so we'll watch it and see how this plays out one little earthquake up here uh, into the Cascadia subduction zone that one coming in late last night uh, 16 kilometers deep for a 1.8 alright uh, space weather activity now I gotta jump off here I'm feeling it um, some movement obvious or some some major activity building up here across the Sun currently uh, with this massive sunspot here well in view of Earth it is directly lined up currently with the Earth and anything that does pop off there will likely be geo effective should it be a, a strong flare or a subsequent uh, CME uh, 3190 is massive and uh, there's a couple other sunspots up here that are currently facing the Earth as well um, and the sunspot uh, activity kind of leading to some further M flares it looks like overnight and quite a few upper C flares no X flares as of yet but we're kind of continuing to watch it 15% chance for an X flare 99% chance for a C flare M flare at 60 I'll continue to watch these and see how they play out a lot of sunspots and a lot of them are lined up um, watch that pretty closely all right folks have a good day stay safe out there I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna be in low mode gear today not going to be doing a whole lot of anything. I, I feel like complete garbage. Oh, not good. But hey, um, I can't. I can't make Missy Mimi's wear a mask or <laughs> here in the house. It happens. It's going to happen. Um, the kids really haven't got sick yet. And that's it. That's the other thing I'm kind of worried about uh, is the kids catching this because it's uh, it's kind of brutal. It's uh, definitely bringing me down. Not, not for sure. Not a good thing. All right, guys. Have a good night. Uh, or good. <laughs> have a good morning. I will catch you guys a little bit later out here tonight, hopefully, um, for some future updates. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.